you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization VI. We are playing the preview of the Rise and Fall Edition. So 2 k for axis provided me with a preview copy of this game. Normal caveats do apply. A lot of things might change between now and release. There might be some bugs and glitches, that sort of thing. Um, and also, the preview is limited to 150 turns. Now, last time we played as the Kree, and they were fantastic, um, but it really sort of like early game weighted civilization. This time, we are going to be playing a civilization that's a little bit more late game. We're going to be playing as Wilhelmina, or Wilhelmina, of the Netherlands over here. And, I mean, it's not super late game, it's sort of mid game when most of our stuff unlocks, but we're still going to want to get there a little faster. So since we're turn limited, we're going to do something I don't normally like to do, and we're going to be playing on Quick over here. Now, Quick is... I mean, there's a couple of different reasons I don't like to play on Quick. One, I mean... Obviously, we just want more Civ all the time, so of course we want, you know, as many turns as possible. Um, so that's one reason that I don't tend to play on quick. The other thing is, when you're on the harder difficulties, the AI gets such a huge bonus over you in every way. Production, science, culture, uh, starts with three settlers, everything like that. So you're always going to be very far behind the AI. The way that you claw your way back is to take advantage of the fact that no AI will ever be able to beat a human in terms of, like, unit movement and positioning and just warfare and, and fighting efficiently okay you're always going to be better than the ai at doing that sort of thing so the more turns you have to move your units around the easier it is for you to take advantage of your your human um bonus of of being able to move your units more on quick there are fewer turns for you to do that and the technologies come a lot faster which again the ai has a huge advantage with so um quick definitely makes things a lot harder um and because it's a new expansion, because we're on quick, we are going to drop it down to Immortal instead of Deity. Immortal is still going to be insanely tough. Um, we are going to be playing on a Island Plates map over here, so we have lots of ocean to play with, with uh, Wilhelmina and all her polders and things like that. Um, if we have to be sharing an, a starting island with another civilization, almost certainly they'll attack us right away, and uh, that'll be tough. But we'll do what we can. We're going to keep the map size small over here so that, um, again, shorter game. Uh, everything's a little bit, um, we're going to meet everyone a little faster. The only thing I'm going to do for starting civilization here is I'm going to make sure to include Poundmaker into the game because we were Poundmaker last time, so we didn't actually get to see him. But otherwise, we'll leave uh, random leaders in there. We're going to go ahead and start the game. And once a scene Bean, Sean Bean, starts his stuff, I will let From him From the first talk. stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps... You have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Queen Wilhelmina, you will defend the Netherlands to the last. Turn coastland to farmland with Dutch ingenuity. Your citizens will farm with great efficiency, knowing that they are under the protection of your mighty warships. Above all, trade with everyone you meet a good deal can turn a foe into a friend and if not the money will fund your opposition now let's all take a moment and agree that Wilhelmina is the cutest most adorable person I've ever seen in any video game I just want to pinch her cheeks she got those bright bright eyes and such a lovely hat fantastic I love this character I can't even describe um, we should just do a quick little overview of her features and abilities over here. Uh, radio, radio Orange over here. Your trade routes to your own cities give plus one loyalty per turn for the starting city. So if you establish a new city and you've got some loyalty problems, you can um, make sure to start a trade route from there and you'll get bonus loyalty. Um, trade routes to or from foreign cities give plus one culture to you, which is really cool. That's great. Nice little culture boost over there. That, that definitely will add up over the course of the game. Um, that, the thing is, I don't know how sort of, like, explicit and conscious you have to be about this ability over here. It's a nice perk, but nothing that I think will change your gameplay style that much. This one, though, the, uh, uh I don't know how you would say it in Dutch, like, <laughs> Rote Rivieren, I, I, I don't know, I'm sorry, um, is, is huge. Between, uh, Wilhelmina here and, um, and Korea... This expansion really introduces a lot of things that sort of mess with your assumptions about where some of your districts will be. Um, Korea, in particular, her, her district placement of campuses is going to be weird because you it doesn't get it's, it's not about mountains. It's, you stick it on top of a hill and it's got like just four science all the time. It's weird. 
here, your campuses, theater squares, and industrial zones get a major adjacency bonus. That's plus two, plus two adjacency bonus if they're next to a river, which is excellent. You also culture bomb when you complete a harbor, which that's a little, I think, harder to um, abuse than some of the others, but it might come up a little bit, especially on island plates map. Sometimes you get these really narrow um, passages between islands, and a culture bar bomb with a harbor may allow you to reclaim some of that land, which is nice. We've got a unique naval unit. I believe this is a replacement for a frigate. What's interesting about it, it gets a bonus to bombarding defensible districts, uh, which I believe would mean encampments as well as city centers. I believe city centers count as defensible districts, so I think these ships are really good at bombing coastal cities, which I'm, I love to do. We also get the Polder Unique Improvement. This is very cool. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to begin the game. All right, this is an interesting start. I think I like this start. Not a lot of riverage, although this is going to be such a great place for one of our campuses because of Willy Mina's ability. This is going to be a four science campus. We're basically going to be the same as Korea on this chart. Hello! This is fantastic. We've also got some great places for polders over here. So the polders, you can build a polder anywhere on a sea tile that is adjacent to three or more flat land. It's got to be flat land, and it's got to be three or more. So, um... Where do we have an ability? Well, we can't do it there because that's a hill. So we can put a polder here. And depending on what's going on over here, we might be able to put another polder next to it, which would be nice because they get adjacency bonuses that are just excellent. We could build one here, but we'll probably want to just uh, do the amber instead. Actually, could we even do it? Maybe not. Maybe not enough flat land. So we'll see how, how polderific we can go. Um, starting location here isn't bad, actually. The work in this tile is great. Three food and one production early on is fantastic. The big question will be, are we going to share an initial island with a opponent or not? And if we are, who are they going to be? I don't know. Let's go ahead and settle in place. I think that's going to be fine. We will found Amsterdam here. We'll get a boost towards sailing, which is lovely. And what I'm going to do, I think we're going to skip scout because... It's a small enough map, I don't think we really, like, or sorry, it's a small island, so our scouts quickly run out of things to do. We can scout out fine. I think I'll go warrior plus slinger. Uh, we'll probably run into at least one war, uh, barbarian to deal with, and then after that we'll go a builder or something like that. I Well, at least one builder, it might be two. We are going to start with probably animal husbandry and mining, and I guess sailing, actually. Between the three, we'll be able to use three um, builder charges here. Because this uh, this amber will require sailing over here. It's nice sea luxury over here. But we'll do the, uh, the horses and the stone first. Just because it's going to help our baseline sort of food production status. As opposed to just, I think, giving us some money. Actually, I guess the, it'll just be... Will it just be a fishing boat? I actually don't know how that improvement will work on the amber. It's not bad with the culture, but yeah. Sort of a weak tile to work early on, because early on you really just want food and hammers. Anyway, uh, let's go with Animal Husbandry. That's going to be okay, and um, move this way. Got some desert. I wonder how much desert we've got. <laughs> Is this going to be another Petra run? Probably not. Okay. Well, I'll go this way anyway. Just Ooh, that's a lot of fish. Actually, I think what we'll do is put a city on this desert tile. That's going to be great. This becomes a great spot for a harbor over here. Adjacent to the city, adjacent to sea resources. Lots of baseline money. Very good. No fresh water, but it means coastal, so it's still going to be okay. Um, yeah, and keep walking around the coast, at least a little while longer. I don't like to go too far from my home with my warrior because there's a good chance, I don't know, a barbarian will spawn right here because that's what the game loves to do. Uh, I didn't actually double check that we're working the tile I want to work. Excellent. Thank you very much, game. Do, do, do. Are you... What turn is it? It's turn four, and there's a Barbarian. Okay, well, we might ignore the scout. He almost certainly spawned from there. I can just move over to here, get up on this hill, and go and ob obliterate him, no matter what the scout is deciding to do. Um, we might... I wonder if we can get the Slinger to kill something over here. It might be a little tricksy, but we'll do what we can. Okay. So you're there, you're there. we got a population of two. Yeah, this, there's not a really good high-quality second tile for our people to be working unimproved, which is a little unfortunate, but that'll have to do. So Animal Husbandry, Code of Laws, coming in. That's expanded over there. Um, and what is the actual yield right now? Is was 1111. Yeah, but keep working that. That's going to be fine. Okay, I'm pleased with that. So... I am fond of pigs. I think the Slinger kill will work out. Dogs. Sorry to cut off that quote. It's really adorable. We'll start doing that, and then we've got to do some resting and healing. 
Um, salt copper. A little bit of a lake here. Is this polarable? Yeah, one, two, three flat tiles over here. And one, two, three flat tiles over here. We can polar both these lake tiles. And all of a sudden, that becomes a pretty swell place to set up a city. And actually, wouldn't be the worst. One of the problems with, like, the Petra is, until you build the Petra, the city location tends to be really weak sauce. But now we've got something halfway decent. Really close to our capital, so it'll be easy to defend. We've got the Slinger. I'm going to go for Builder next. It's a little bit risky, a little bit greedy. But I think I'm going to do it. And, yeah, the idea is you're going to walk over here. Um, you might be able to find a, a faster path once the scout moves. Yes, yeah, just make your way over that way. That's going to be fine. Um, so you're just going to rest, and we'll just keep attacking. We do have a bonus against these uh, barbarians because they're 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 anti cavalry, and we're melee. Ooh, that war is a little scary. I might actually want to bring this warrior around this way. How are we going to do this? Well, let's move here for now. We'll see what that other warrior does. So you're working on your builder. That's good. you got a third population. That's lovely as well. Um, At his best, did the scout go? Oh, the I didn't realize the, the scout may have gotten here and told this guy to wake up. All of a sudden, that's a little scary, but not bad. Now, I could run in here and clear this. Obviously, I would like to get the kill with the slinger, but that just might not be viable. And I might want to clear this before it spawns a million other warriors. There's a risk that I'm doing do this and the warrior could kill me. But I think I'm going to have to do this. I'm not particularly happy about it. At least this other warrior can't attack me because I'm on a hill. At least I do get a defensive bonus from the hill itself. We're going to go to craftsmanship because we should be able to improve the tiles fairly quickly. Um, well, actually, what we might want to do is... Yeah, we'll delay. We'll do a little foreign trade and then we'll switch, switch over there. Because either way, we're going to have to do a little swap do. Um, that guy's still the woke guy, but, I mean, presumably linked to here, so it should be okay. Very de defensible terrain over here, too. Tell me you got a promotion. Yes, thank you so much. Excellent. Um, I could take a swing at the Barbarian Scout over here. And Warriors are very scary, because um, there's not a lot of melee defense on the Slinger. But, I think... I'm going to have to do this, take a shot, we can, I don't think it can hit kill me in one shot from there, and on my next turn, I can retreat on top of the hill, and he won't be able to attack me there because of movement restrictions, so I think this is going to be all right. Unless the scout decides to get involved, but, oh, okay. more credit than the wife of a coal miner? That's fine, because this warrior decided to attack my warrior. Now, the question is, can my scout kill this guy? Looks like yes. Awesome, there's our Eureka towards archery, and I'm no longer worried about the slinger dying, um, looks like we can... Okay, if it was a little tighter, I might not do it, because it might be too much of a risk that a roll goes bad and we lose, but that was a very solid over there. Okay, I'm very pleased with that. Um, we did clear out a Barbarian Encampment, but it wasn't close to our city, so we didn't get the max era score, but that's alright. Um, okay, we do need to get sailing so that we can improve this, so that, that'll give us our three uses for our builder, which is fine. Question is, how soon we'll meet okay that answers my question how soon will we meet a civilization so we get the um uh the boost towards uh writing well apparently we're gonna meet it pretty early now this guy likes to be quite aggressive especially if you're nearby him um since he clearly didn't come across the sea because he probably doesn't have the ability to embark scouts yet he is almost he's on our island which means we may have to deal with him amsterdam is in a very safe secure area though that's great and if we're planning on expanding over here since his scout came here he's probably north that's not bad the ai on a mortal you know anything quite high is definitely going to want to attack me early because they spawn they start with a ton of warriors and they've got a big production thing so they should that they're going to feel much stronger than me so they're going to want to attack me quite early but they're going to have a bit of a hard time getting in here i've already got the boost to sailing or the archery which is great um i think i'm going to try to squeeze out a settler because it's going to be important for us to get our second city going and then after that it's going to be probably archers all day long can i kill this scout yeah, I do have a promotion waiting for me, but let's go and kill this anyway, and then we'll promote after. Do I want to heal you here? Yeah, you know what? Because if nothing else, it'll stop a barbarian encampment from respawning over here. So you heal there, that's going to be fine. We're going to start by improving 
the pasture over here, which for some reason I thought was on a hill. So, yeah, we can pull her over here. Maybe, no, I guess I realized that. Okay, anyway. Uh, tech boost, promotions, good, good, good. We don't have to swap anything over here. Actually, I think swapping to craftsmanship... Oh! Why is it 14 turns now? Wasn't it super short before? Maybe it's calculating things oddly. Okay. Well, it's not like we need to uh, rush the boost as quickly as possible. We got another promotion over here. Um, I suppose I could move you a scooch first and then promote you. Not that it gave us any vision, but still. So you're going to come over here and improve the stone, which will also give us another um, another boost, which is nice. We are, Ultimately, we're going to want to improve two sea resources. Yeah, we're going to settle here, but we're also going to want to settle up here. Again, very nicely defensive. Yeah, I don't know exactly where we're going to end up. Let's take a quick peek around the corner here. Okay. Doesn't really tell us anything. There's a boost towards masonry. And we'll want to check out the north. Did we? I guess we haven't even found a goodie hut. We got pretty tied up there in the barbarian fighting. Come back over here. I want to check what's north over here. Looks like it's a pretty short little tight area for... Uh, oh, we don't have sailing yet. All right, just... Um, I suppose I could just build a farm. But no, we'll, we'll wait for that to get set up. That's going to be fine. Um, oh, polders unlock at guilds, by the way. I don't think I addressed that, but you need the guilds civic. So it's quite... Yeah, right over here, polders. So it's quite far down, but uh, we should get it in the not-too-distant future. So sailing's coming on board. Good. Craftsmanship. Craft dwarf ship. Coming in. Settler in three turns, which is going to be fine. You're nearly healed over here. Yeah, so just keep waiting there. Okay, he's still scouting me, but at it least he's only scouting so far. Sure is distasteful to me. Hopefully it's far enough apart that there's, like, barbarians between us, so he's going to have to deal with that. All right, sailing. Good. Research. Um, yeah. Get archery, because we're going to need to spam out some archers pretty soon. Otherwise, I think India's going to come knocking, and it's going to be very unpleasant. It depends on exactly where they, they spawned. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship. And gives as many useful objects, such as... I'm going to get rid of Discipline. I'm going to get a Goje, because we're going to build some um, archers. I'm still going to keep God King until we get a... Um, um, what's, it, what's it called? The religion thing. Pantheon. Thank you. Mm, foreign trade is what I want. We're going to try to research it up to here. I don't know how quickly we're going to find another continent, though. Because we're not doing a heck of a lot of scouting. We could have a two continents on this little island plate. It can happen. But we might not quite get it. So I'm still thinking settling here is going to be really swell. I do realize we get fresh water over here. I think we settle down here and we settle up here. And find some sort of place in the west. You know, I think all the sea resources are going to be decent. We start next to the stone. We start next to the fish. I know there's overlap with our capital, but that only really matters when you hit max population and things. So we can delay that a fair bit. I'm just wondering if the start to the north actually might be better by virtue of the fact that we get a luxury resource over here. And there's no luxury resource down there. Amber's a luxury, though, so we do at least get that set up. The other advantage of settling over here, it really blocks off this area once we get uh, writing and therefore we get closed borders, that... The rest of the island to our west, unless there's another AI over here. Now, it's conceivable that what this is, this is actually two islands that are touching. Although, I think we would have discovered another continent if that were the case. Yeah, I'm wondering if going north is better. Now, um, on a reef, I'm not sure we can build a, a harbor there. Speed bumps or ships? We must be able to build a harbor... I don't know. Cannot be built on a reef. No, that's too bad. Because that would have been adjacent to um, sea resources. So we'd probably end up building, say, the harbor over here then. Or there. So I'm just trying to think of, like, um, adjacency sites. So I think it would be better to settle here or here. So we can build the harbor there for the bonus gold. If we settled here... We actually could build the Petra in this city. Because it would have... I mean, one of these would get used by the Petra itself. But if we settle here, we have one, two... These are all desert, right? No, that's grassland. Oh, that's also grassland. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be worth it. But the lake tile's good. 
We could still settle down here. Although here it would mean le less overlap altogether. It's kind of half... Six of one, half a dozen of the other. I don't see a strong advantage one way or another necessarily. Archery's in two turns. We might be able to sneak out a galley. I mean, don't get me wrong. Monument would be nice. But a galley means we can get some exploration going on. Maybe I'll switch out a foreign trade here. We'll go ahead and uh, do military tradition. That's going to be okay. We are going to want our um, campus up relatively soon. Um, I'm going to get you to... Uh, actually, just move down here. I do want you to rest at some point. I guess we'll explore a little bit more. Really not a whole heck of a lot to write home about over here. And rough terrain to walk through as well. Well, either way, keep walking up here. There's our archery. Someone just that... Oh, India built that stone hand. So they'll spread a religion to me, and I'll totally sign up for it. Very excited to, uh, to share religion. Um, let's get pottery so we can get writing, so we can get our campus. That sounds fine to me. I mean, we may have wanted to rush over here, but that's just going to add more pressure. You like that we're distant? Excellent. I, I'm happy about that. And in theory, you won't get mad about me settling over here. I think I am going to just settle right here. Technically, this city would be able to reach the salt. Although, you know, three tiles away, we might not bother. Uh, there's some decent placeables over here. Do I want to keep exploring with this guy? I guess so. You're bringing me gifts. Okay. Be let's be friends. What? India has conquered the Carth Carthaginian capital of Carthage. Um. Um. Wow. Okay. Eindhoven. What do we want to build here first? We do have a gauge, so the archer spam would be pretty good right now. We do definitely need a builder over here, too. Um, we're playing on quick, I just realized. Builders are a lot cheaper. I will purchase a builder. And I will get you to get started working on an archer. Because I'm, I'm, I'm right, right? We are... Yes, good. We got a boost to building those. Excellent. Um, since we have archery now. We'll finish that one boat for exploration, but we'll do that. I have enough money, I could upgrade this guy to an archer. Let's do that before we venture too far out, actually. We're actually not that far from potentially even buying a second builder, which would be lovely. There's no distance between our lands. Oh, you get so cranky when you're close. How are we... How are we not still distant? You know what? I bet you he settled a city near me, and now he's upset that we're too close together. Darn you! Okay, there's some good city locations over here. Mm, I don't know if the order is that good. These are both desert tiles. You know, two, three, even over here, it might be worth getting a Petra here. It's not a million tiles that are going to get the Petra bonus, but there's enough of them that it, there's some benefit. Boom, get upgraded. Thank you very much. And we'll build another archer over here. That'll be three archers, which is pretty good defense. Of no course, it's enough to give you your boost towards uh, left it. Uh, machinery. As if there were... Bravery is being the only one who knows you're afraid. I don't think we're making any policy changes. I like that we get air score for the very first galley. That's great. Um, we still don't have a, a pantheon. And I'm still building archers, so I guess we're not making any changes right now. Okay. Um, let's unlock writing. And we'll work on state workforce. And we are... Right, not campusing yet. You're going to build an archer. That's what it's going to be. So that will be our third archer after this guy. And we'll probably put a turn into something. I don't know. But I'll want, I'll want the writing at that point. So let's build a mine on the gems. Which gives us a boost towards wheel. That's swell. Also, we should be having... Yeah, we're all happy. We've got two amenities here in relatively small cities, so lots of joy. Excellent. Uh, you may as well just rest a turn to bring you up to full before I send you out. And over here, we're going to take a look around the point here. It's actually one, two, three. Oh, it's not far enough to stick another city in there. Oh, well, that's fine. Choose a pantheon. So the obvious choice, of course, is God of the Sea. 
Yeah, okay. We only have one sea resource, assuming Amber still counts. It's got fishing boats, so I guess so, um, in Amsterdam. But we're going to have two in Eindhoven. Actually, three eventually with this fish. And then a tree over here. Yeah, God of the Sea is going to be the way to go over here. Found this pantheon. Excellent. Um, now, India has formed a religion. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. I don't think we're going to be forming our own religion, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we will be mailing a mine over here. And what we might do is do an early purchase of, like, say, the crabs or maybe the fish. I think the, sh the fish are better because I think the fish gives you more food. If I do this, does it show me the yields outside? No, it doesn't. Because it's one gold, two food. I think the crabs give you a gold bonus. Yeah, quite a lot of gold, but we're going to want the food. So we'll buy the fish tile and improve that. All right, you are all nice and healthy now. I'll get you walking along this coast and see what else we pop up. And you're going to come over here. Wow, that's a lot of crap. Oh, as I say, a lot of crab will never get to use. But we could found a city over here. It's coast, so we can walk across. Uh, barbarian encampment there is a little bit annoying. But especially with the cliff here, that actually gets a little awkward. I'm not sure where we can necessarily land all the troops we're going to want to do. But we'll see. This thing is on the coast, so it might spawn ships as well. And the barbarian ships are actually kind of annoying. It looks like there's a city state up there. Um, because they do have a range attack. I think they only have a range of one, but they're really good at killing your coastal units. This isn't bad. I can drop an archer here and a warrior over here, and it should be no problem to clear this all up. Okay, that's good. This archer is nearly done. Next turn. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, India's got a pantheon desert folklore. Okay, well, if they have desert enough to do desert folklore... Oh, that's where he settled now. He's cranky that we're close together. Um, I don't know if a Petra is going to be possible, because, again... Higher difficulty, the AI starts with a lot of extra free text, plus a bonus to research, plus a bonus to production. So if an AI wants a wonder, generally they will get it. I will be trying to build some wonders in this run, but I don't know if the Petra is going to be an option. What does this have to be built on? Oh, adjacent to a camp. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that'll be our third archer over there. I mean, I could squeeze out another one, or maybe I just want to do a second warrior. Because we do still have a gauge. You know, it's two turns. We'll, we'll do that. And then we'll go and um, start the live or the campus. I think that's going to be fine. We'll go ahead and do this. It'll give us a little more military score. One of the things we could check um, under domination victory. So my military rating is seventy, and India's is one hundred twenty. Yeah, they uh, they do start with some free units, so that's a big part of it. I can seriously move through all of this. Huh? You know what? I actually do want to. I'm going to explore this coast over here. And then this one doesn't have to... He can walk through that territory right now, but we'll we'll get him to just go up north, and that's going to be fine. Um, so you actually... Oh, no, you can't embark. That's right. You can't embark yet. We need, uh, we need another tech for that. Do I want to move you? Well, actually, what I want to do is I wanted to get you to stand, say, over here, to keep a vision over here so we don't get barbarian spawns. Because I actually... When you get... Um, when you get the policy for colonization with early empire and we've got the size for it if we could just find a second continent that would be really handy because i kind of like the idea of mass spamming settlers to the west here this is tight enough yeah we can just we can bottleneck this india's not going to be able to attack us through here well they could embark and try to land some people there but that Writing slows everything down easy. all you have to do is cross out the wrong words mark twain ladies and gentlemen uh, Hanging Gardens was built somewhere. Mm-hmm. Is there any tech we're, we're hunting for specifically? It'd be nice to know if we've got any iron so we can mine that. We don't need to rush irrigation quite yet. Uh, even city walls we can live without for a surprisingly long time. Getting a second galley to rush shipbuilding would certainly be handy. We could even potentially use Quadreams if he's got a coastal city. This one's not coastal, though. Yeah, I think we can get bronze working. We'll just reveal iron because that would be pretty handy. And yeah, you're going to go and stand on the crabs, and we'll just buy that crab tile in a second. Or, sorry, the fish. The fish. I mean, we might even be expanding in that direction by default. No, for some reason you're going to want to grab the crab source first. Okay, sure, whatever. What food, darn it. And yeah, we'll just go up the coast here and see what's what with the Indian territory. So we could potentially rush a city into here. But I think that makes us more vulnerable. I mean, India might move in there. And attacking through this little choke point is going to really suck. Like, if India puts a city here, our ability to attack into there is going to be pretty questionable. But we'll see. Uh, city quest. Receive a, a recruit a great scientist. Ancient eras ending in 10 turns. Now, it's a, there's a good chance we're going to enter the classical era in a dark era. 
age. And that's okay. We just get a little less loyalty for cities, but I don't think that's going to hurt as much. Uh, there's our campus. So look at this. Plus four, because it gets plus one from each mountain and plus two from being adjacent to a river because Netherlands. That is a very, very good campus. And it does count as adjacency bonuses as well, so they'll all double up, which is pretty sweet. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go... I don't know what I'm going to do with this warrior. Again, we'd like to do a little fog busting to prevent barbarians from spawning. You know what? I will actually... I'll send you out over here somewhere. That's going to be okay. And you're just going to keep scouting over here, checking these borders. Um, we got a major victory, but he's going to start shooting me, which is more than a little annoying. Still, I could be... I could run away. Let's go ahead and bop him a few times. We'll get some XP. If we can get the... Um, I don't know if the movement position is what we're going to look for or not. Knowledge machinery got boosted. I uh, will move out of foreign trade. If we don't discover... Because we're working on a specialty district now. So, I don't know if we're going to discover a second continent soon or not. It would be nice if we did. Do I want to go straight into a campus? I don't think so. We don't have a really good campus spot over here. So, I don't think you're going to get one. Um, more builders would be okay. Uh, getting our monuments going would also be nice. Uh... Yeah, foreign trade into early empires is really what we need to do to spam out more settlers. I could just start a settler now, even without the uh, the boost. And it might be okay. Actually, your housing capacity is really poop here. Let's go for granary, and then we'll get started on settlers. And yeah, there's a little bottleneck here. I can't enter this right now, which is too bad. I guess that's going to be that. I'm going to go and get a military unit here, because it'll stop anyone from, from walking through that. We'll take a peek up on this hill. Okay. And is that the ship? Probably. Oh, no, that would be the ship. We can get a major victory, but I'm worried that they're going to turn around and just shoot me. So I think I'm actually just going to run back home and heal. After getting just a tiny bit of experience. So I think it's okay that we're going to hard research uh, foreign trade over here, since apparently we're going to be delayed otherwise. More city-states being defeated. So it might be hard for us to find three city-states here. Unfortunately. For another important boost. Okay, it looks like that's the limit of that exploration. Uh, I need to purchase this tile here. And then fishing boat that, which will be our second fishing boat. So Celestial Navigation gets, uh, gets popped, which is great. You remember that for the food. You're going to great tile there. Our money income is actually not bad, considering we don't have a trade route yet. Right, that's the other thing with boosting foreign trade. I'm going to take a shot at this unit just to get a little XP on my archer, because why not? It's only, oh, yeah, it's only one because uh, he's already leveled up, and these are only barbarians, and I think. I don't know. All these things. Build a campus. And what we'll probably do is, in both these cities, we're going to start in settlers next. We'll start with settlers, even if we don't have the colonization idea yet. Um... It might come into play before they finish anyway. So I'm going to stand here and just do some fog busting for the barbarians. And, oh, I did not realize I am now trapped. Well, wait here for now. Um, I mean, we might be able to negotiate open borders. Hello. I can't do open borders that way. That's right. I mean, I could just pay him for it, but I don't want to do that. Let's wait here. If these borders expand, that'll just kick us out as well, which would be okay. I think you were moving up here. And with possibility of barbarian ships, we might actually want to just guard our coast here. Speak two mouths, neither of them pleasant. Denouncing me, my borders are too close. Actually, I don't know if that was an announcement or not, but yeah, you're really... Like, this is close borders? Really? Man, you ain't seen nothing yet. Actually, speaking of, do we want to buy a bunch of tiles over here? Because he could, he could settle a city in here. He can't really steal any resources, but we just want control over that land. Let's take a look at the, um, the settler lands here. Oh, no, we literally can't settle in here. Okay, and we don't have to worry about competing for the tiles, so we're going to be fine. So you're going to chill over here. Just keep an eye out. Make sure there's no barbarians. You're going to rest for now. We'll probably send you out to explore again. Um, you're just going to keep waiting. 
one turn from foreign trade and bronze working and our campus gonna be a good turn we probably want to go straight to a library just for the extra uh, great person points well no or the settler state I'm workforce is interested. done bronze that's working is done foreign trade is done cool. state workforce we already knew was done we got our campus that's some more era score um early empire we're working on that which is great and lovely we'll probably just research something else we have a speed boost to i don't think there's any particularly rush in any way are we ever going to farm a resource that's an interesting question and the answer is no we are not going to farm a resource so what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to research irrigation here because we do have things like bananas that could use a plantation so let's do that um yeah i would love a library right away but no we have to I don't have enough money for a settler. Settler might actually be better. Okay, Tr trader is what I mean to say. Trader first, and then we'll go into the settler spam, and that'll be okay. Um, wow, who do we pick for our first governor? I love the librarian here. Twenty percent increase in science and culture. I think I think we're gonna go with him. That's gonna be okay. We'll put you in Amsterdam because we've got the campus there, and that's gonna be swell. You're just going to chill out over here. Keep an eye on things. You're going to be stuck for a little while longer. So, yeah. Well, hard research irrigation. Not that it's particularly tough tech as is. Um, you. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to get you to move to there. And you, I'm going to get you to move to here. There we go. That should be fairly good vision. So, I could guard this, but I think we'll, we'll send you out on another exploration thing. Do I just want to automate you? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty lazy, but come on. How bad is that? At least we get good vision over how many units he's got. It's a fair amount of archers, but again, what is he really going to do? The, the the jungle here blocks a lot of line of sight. I don't remember. Is this a hill? No, that's too bad because we could stand there and shoot him a whole bunch. And that would be swell. The granary coming in. Not really enough money to do anything other than buy tiles, which we're not really looking to do right now. Oh, he's starting on his Varu. Very scary. So we'll probably enter a dark age, but I think that's fine. So you can just go on alert mode over there. I could just leave this gun alert, but I like being reminded that this is still a thing that's happening. So I'll remember to take an action about it later on. So I, I'm going to send this trade route over to Eindhoven. The man who has grit enough to bring about the afforestation. So we're going to go and ignore that archer. Wow, this is a very dry map. A surprisingly dry map. Again, he went, um, I don't know where or why, but he went with the desert folklore uh, pantheon, which uh, I don't know. I guess it's fine. I think we'll just pick up a bunch of these cheap techs. Uh, the wheel actually would be nice in Amsterdam, because the water wheel. Okay, we're going to start going on uh, on Settlers. And that's going to be fine. So this trade route is going to go to uh, start in Eindhoven, so that Eindhoven gets the production bonus. Ah, there we go. I was waiting for that guy to move, because if we get the embarking tech, then I will be able to leave here, although there's still barbarian ships that might cause problems. But this also oof, gets us hurt here. I was going to say gives us the opportunity to shoot at these and get some XP. But you know what? That's too much damage. We could run a city-state over here, or a trade route over here. We don't have a mission for it. I'm just going to go internal. We'll get the food and production in Eindhoven. We'll get a nice little road um, within our land here. And I think that's going to be swell. That gives us a boost towards currency. More city-states being defeated. Let's get away from that archer. Wow. Wow. I mean, a lot of sea resources, at least. And we do have the Pantheon for it. Classical Era. So it's a dark age for us, so everything's going to be tinted dark. Very, very spooky. Um, I'm going to keep free inquiry on right now. Um, every time we trigger Eureka, we get an era score. Every time we construct a building and provides science, we'll get that. And we're going to do a library over here. Um, we could do Monumentality for the districts, but Sometimes I don't know how many we're actually going to end up doing like in air this conditioning era. The We're going to switch out of God King. And we are going to pick up colonization. Um, I think we'll keep a gauge for now. We could go with the loyalty. I don't think we're going to need the loyalty boost, though. Actually, we're going to go conscription to save money from our archers right now. That's what we're going to do. We got the Dark Age policies we could run over here. Um, isolationism is pretty good, but would be bad timing right now. Look how dingy everything looks. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, we still haven't found a natural wonder. That's crazy. Well, let's just take care of masonry real quick. Um, oh, political philosophy. Uh, so it would be really nice to rush, but we can't afford to delay it. 
We, we've done that in a game before where we're delaying political philosophy because it's like, oh, how hard is it to meet three city-states? And I think it was on an island plates map like this, and we just never, ever found three because the AI doesn't like to kill them pretty quickly. So we'll probably end up having to hard research it, but maybe we'll get lucky. We've only met what so far, but who knows? Um, settlers. We want lots of settlers. And we do have the ability to upgrade a gardener, a gardener, a governor, or introduce another one. Uh, Amani the Diplomat's pretty good. Because so wherever she is, she does act as two envoys. I'm going to go ahead and grab her, and we'll stick her in Antioch over here. Not that we have a commercial site yet, but it might give us a little bit more money in our capital. Uh, we can take some more shots over here. So again, good for some XP. Very slowly, but it's there. I'm going to move you over here, and we are going to go ahead and put a cut in this video. We've gone way over time over here. And uh, so, thank you very much for watching, folks. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm really excited to see where this, the rest of this is going to go. Uh, reminder, we are in a 150 turn limit here in this preview, but, um, and we usually get four or five episodes out of this. And with quick, we'll go a little further into the and late game um, than we did on normal speed. So, um, thank you very much for watching. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.